Welcome back, everyone. Shad and Sabroni here with Warsim. So we're starting to get towards the end and of our first playthrough. So, and we have an update. So, and all done. Excellent. So, um, those of you following on uh, YouTube may have noticed I did not uh, do the Thursday update uh, uh, last uh, week that I apologize for. I just ran out of time and didn't uh, think about it until after, well, until about an hour ago. So, anyways, that will be up. We'll be behind uh, but it should all work out so anyways thank you for continuing to watch and for those on twitch uh, nothing unusual has happened so anyways we are here we are going to visit our throne room and this here and we have 54 people so yeah, we're going to take this in several chunks is my man who claims a strange orb in his sack of twigs. He found a strange orb in a sack of twigs in the woods. The man will sell the orb for 30 gold. Hmm. Buy for 30. For half. Oh. Bows and leaves immediately. The gold accepts it. The man bows and leaves. Orb is yours, but uh, you don't have an artifact. Hall to put it in, put in storage temporarily. I have another chaos orb. Okay. Next visitor is by a traveler who asked to join your army because he wishes to serve the realm. You are allowed to join. And laughs and says they hear the best. Then he jogs out to collect his equipment. I hate it when they laugh. It's like they try and pull something over on me. Is my old disgraced knight, my king. I wish to better the realm of Islona by questing for you. You may quest. Consider it done. Alright. Is my wise man who says he has some advice to share. I will, of course, listen to it. There are many disgraced heroes who surround Fenor, the uh, bandit outlord. While some are weak, most still retain a good sword arm. Be wary. Alright, that was good. Here we go. Thank you. Sorry for bothering you. You heard you, but it means a lot. That is alright. The head general approaches, requests a pay raise of 22 gold. I agree. Next in. Traveling Game Master visits your court and invites you to play a popular tavern game called Sudden Death. No. Alright, so. Next in. You're visited by a beggar who claims one of your soldiers burned down his farm when co uh, confronted about stealing an apple. He says his livelihood is gone. It's nothing. He begs for reparations. Wish I could, you know, ask the guard what happened and whatnot. A reparation paid. Gold is accepted, and the beggar smiles and grins ear to ear before bowing and leaving. Or some man who says his best friend is set to be executed in a prison and begs you to free him. You mean the demon worshiper? I'm very tempted to uh, you know, send you to the dungeon as well. Keep an eye on that guy, dude. So. Next up. Is by a farmer who wishes to complain. My king, I... Joined get, gladly to fight for you, but I came to oppose bandits and fight alongside them. 
Uh, are you not the leader of the just? Such men surely would not ally themselves with cutthroats. Like, the arrow catching division of our military is a very important area for those who once were bandits to redeem themselves. So. Our friends, looks at the floor and walk away. Alright, and. And calling a meeting. So, her versus not under bandit groups. Thing. Source of income. Best way capturing places on the outskirts of your lands, forts, mines, markets, whatever you can find. Remember, has there an old book containing a s uh, of an old book containing a sack that produces gold coins infinitely. So they went infinitely. Open up trade with anyone you can. The more trade routes you have, the better, even with small villages or wagon men. Bigger kingdom should produce more income, so conquer more lands. Alright, and any new rumors about how to defeat those demons? You have a mighty force, we will need the help of our neighbors. Vassalize other independent kingdoms that won't help. Uh, they cannot help. Let's see, we can fix up our lands. We can fix up uh, uh, and the lands that the demons destroy. Consider it. Alright. Make sure you increase your territorial holdings and public opinion. Try as many people as you can to your throne room. We will join you or help in one way or another. Uh, the Demon Horde has never been stopped by a lone force, but always by a united one. Alright. And... One word, invade. Work on that. That's something I'm able to advise. I'm inclined to say the most obvious way is to invade. Invade. Alright. So, good meeting everyone. Let's see. Next person may enter. He was by a traveling bard. He asked to show you the singing ways of the old orcish. I'm an expert musician. I shall play you a lengthy song. What is your name, good sir? Bertrand reveals his name to be uh, by does. Alright, and what are your origins? I always wanted to be part of a band like the Wild Scalds. Hopefully one day I can form a band like them. I shall listen to you. Nods and prepares to play. So, that was a great performance, and you may leave. Alright, next up. You are visited by a western wood gatherer who wants to join your army because he was told to do so in a dream. You are allowed. All right, his wild war cry before charging out to get stuff. It's about a village idiot who wants to join your army because someone dared him that he wouldn't. <laughs> You're allowed to join. Good, finally get my hands on a weapon before I lay out a cackle. I'm a little concerned. That's probably why I'm playing reparations. It's by a traveling bard. He asked to play a song in his event. Pyrrhic Lute. I'm a novice. I should play you a short song. What is your name? So, Kriont. Alright, yeah, what are your origins? I was a member of the Musicians Guild until those bastards threw me out for claiming that farting was not a form of music, and the Bavrump uh, was an instrument. They just weren't ready for it. Well, um, so at least you play, play the lute, so you may do so. I'm not ready for that either. Mm 
All right, it was in fact a short set. Uh, let's see. You may leave. Okay. So down to forty-one. This is about traveling. Briar here asks you to play a song for you as Elvin Loot. I'm a beginner. What is your name? So, Kirk. Where are you from? I was a warrior, but I found peace. So instead, I spread music now. I shall listen to your song, Former Warrior. Like his headbands like whipping around his head. So it was a great performance. You made it. All right. So and next was ta more bards. What's your name? What's your origins? You may leave. Yeah, I'm not gonna be paying when I've had a lot of musicians in the court today. There's a young boy who says he saw a vision that you were gonna give him a shiny coin. He shouts yay and does a happy little dance for you. Alright, that was very good. Your friends about an old man. Who asks you if you could spare a few coins as he and his twelve kids are starving? And faints to the floor, making a loud stud. So, and. Kinds bring forward a man who is accused of trying to gather recruits for a new bandit gang. Explain yourself. I will never do bad. I, did, I didn't do it. Ask the arresting guard for a statement. We don't have any witnesses. Alright, release them. And don't go forming bandits or we will be back. Visited by a famous farmhand who claims one of your soldiers broke his fence seeking reparations. Alright. And. We shall leave the. We shall leave the throne room for now. All right. Let's see. So, anything happening at the arena? Bandit Adventure vs. Bandit. So the bandit gets kicked over. Yeah. It's a strike on him and takes a good hit, hit and it is out. Alright. Mm, let's see. Diplomacy. Uh, all right, can't diplomatize them. Yep. Them, I'm already at Pete Vessalized. Let's see. And let's see. OK. 
Okay, let's see. So, what can we do? Let's see. Alright, we have more tribal goblins, which are good. Because we'll definitely be sending those in. So. Let's see. And at this point, we are actually prepared to diplomacy. <clears throat> I have to. Ask the heroes of the new underworld liches host Proski the Mammoth. Only three members, but they are their race is listed as new underworld liches, so they want kills. You need to talk with him, Militia. So, I think exploring the realm may be the best use of our time. Anything there? No. Alright. And the black market. So, alright. As you pass into the slums, you see. Someone chasing a swarm of bugs out of a hollow and into the street shouting, You bugs are no match for the bug hunter. Come here. Alright, let's see. Can I hire anyone? 13 men, 12 gold apiece. We have hired them. Okay. And then let's see. Dark room. Soup kitchen. Okay. Uh, all right, so you enter the building, you're immediate, and immediately you're met with a smell that turns your stomach. A large and ugly lady is stirring a pot, while several unlucky patrons fill their bowls with a slop begin eating. You approach the woman, known as Meg, and quickly notice the worst smell is not the food, but her. She has dirty white hat. Slept on her head, greasy curly hair. Her face is lumpy and covered in warts. You can't tell where her chin ends and her neck begins. She looks blankly at you, says, What do you want? So, who are you? Meg. What is this place? Meg's Kitchen. And the food tasty. Don't try and flatter me or I'll spit at you. And what does the food look like? Let's see, three things, rat hide and dust wheat broth, bloody rag soup, and mystery mash that I'm leaving. 
I'm just immediately leaving. All right, your way. There's a local musicians guild. The place is relatively small and packed with all kinds of local musicians. One of the guild masters greets you, Grumman greets you, and informs you that this branch of the guild does not have a leader, and uh, to go west to Songwood uh, if they wish to know about the guild. I shall watch a performance while I'm here. Good player, Nomus Wishler, Goblin Drummer, or Clicker. I think I've listened to a drummer in a while. Okay, and let's see what are our things here. Let's see, I believe the demon hunter is dead when the den was. Yep, eradicated. So, there's a blue tree, blue tree patch down here in the sewers. You pick the fruit or not. All right, I picked it. Awesome. <clears throat> Speaking to a Luton, my brain is dead. All right. Where's district? Speak to the current pit champion. I'm Edward, the Scar Warlord, the champion of the Fighter's Pit. You're lucky. Quite a bit of balanced luck. Then go to the central district. Let's see, no one's here available to be hired. I figure that we've done all the black market stuff. Let's see, the Fort North Watch. Let's see, so. So, looks like they pretty much got it uh, going there. Roller's Pit. Nothing of note. Let's see. Shell Rock Mine. I think that was more or less a. Give tribute, leader of the geese. 
be so terrible to say that he is not as stupid as most and wouldn't stand against a mighty king. He agrees to send tribute. That is awesome. Alright, uh, let's see, we also have the Cartographer's Guild, which I can pay to unlock a couple locations. Um, at this time, I don't think I'm going to uh, unlock anything, because, yeah, my gold is not quite enough for me to do so. Now, somewhere in the eastern Farah Desert, uh, there is a uh, magic uh, item shop, or magic item uh, market. Where any small trading post settled on a dune. These eastern trading posts are greeted. Alright, you can keep going. Any pet. I'm going to explore a little bit. She said, Envoy of the foreign king whose better you do not recognize, but you approach and explain that you two are ruler of this land and ask him his business. He claims he is passing through the realm, search of noble knights to fight for his cause. He will hire a single one of your knights if you so permit. For 1500, I will permit. So. And let's see, anything down in the southern lands. Alright. For it looks like it's going alright. I don't need to see the lava pits. Let's see ruins. Or ruins. Uh, let's see. So the band appears to be so. And the western lands. In mind by the Harlem Mining Company, you notice the workers seem less of free and orders. The banner deformed further master them of Gek. So two of them are guarding the mine shaft and more inside. Alright, magical theater, I don't need to see wishing well is fine. Uh general monk. You in the village like to recruits? I get eight peasants. Awesome. Alright, uh, don't think I need to do anything else there. Anything happening at the Walsh Tower? You can see anything, a minor pack of wolves, but that is it. So, the old wise man. Uh, oh. Alright, don't think I need to ask him much. I'm going to explore, find 50 coins, and one more. I'm trying to find this magic items market. Ruins of the Great Wall of Farad. Since the wall was built by Great Sultan to keep the ever expanding desert and from claiming his fertile land. Alright. It didn't seem to work out so well for him. And let's go back to our throne room. 
and send in the next visitor. You're visited by a funny looking young man. So. Uh, who says that he has found a small bag of gold near a tree and has brought it to you as an offering. We will accept that. Alright. And next one. Eric brings forward a man who is accused of insulting the crown. And ask him to explain. Let's explain I committed a crime. Oops, I mean I didn't commit a crime. He may be forgetting that first... Hey, maybe forget that first bit. Uh, statement from the guard. Says so right now, criminal. He has pled guilty. Uh, let's see, to the dungeon with him. Man begins crying as the guards carry him off. Alright, next up. You are visited by an angry traveler who won a bet with a wealthy trader and has brought you half the winnings as a gift. Uh, let's see, well, we will accept your pity. Next up, sorry for the yawning and whatnot, so it has been a long weekend. It's been an old woman who claims to be the mother of one of your dead soldiers. She has come on a hard time, no longer afford to eat. Take some money, go eat. You was by a particularly short bard who wants to join your army because he's bored. You may fight. You cannot promise anything, but you are but as you are my witness, I pledge to drive that sword into the heart of any and all who oppose you. He then leaves to collect his equipment. Next up. A demon storms into your court and begs that you sacrifice a peasant of yours. He claims uh, he was cursed by a wretched hag uh, and has marched all the way from the southern gates to find a willing king. If you sacrifice a peasant, I could die at peace. No, let's see, one less uh, southern demon to worry about. He pleads. Um, how about I offer you death? If I scream before you know it, he's disappeared. Alright. Uh, uh, he's no longer here, so you're considering that a great victory. He's by an old man who asks you if you could spare a few coins. As the man's dog is starving, there's no game for him. Yeah, that should be enough. And you seem very grateful, so thank you for that. There's been a man who asks permission to join the army. You are allowed, of course. Alright. And next up. There's been an unhappy wood gatherer who claims one of your soldiers help him an orc lover uh, and claims that such an insult is due reparation. Yeah, here's your gold reparation. You are reparation repaid, the gold is accepted, and the unhappy wood gatherer grants and leaves the court overjoyed. If he's by a small goblin, he is, says nothing about the words gold coin. Let's see, so I can give him one, I can throw him out. Alright, let's. And next up, you were about a traveling bard. Uh, he asked. To play a song for you as loot, I'm pretty good at this. I shall play you a short song. And what is your name, Mr. Bard? A bar nods and prepares to play oh, yeah, for you. Alright, the performance. Uh, let's see. You, you may leave. So, let's see. We are getting close. You're visited by a blacksmith. He says, if I were to crown, the lost king near a tree is brought to you as an offering. You shall accept it. You're visited by a traveling bard. asked to show you a singing race of the 
Old Urgish. Be sure to... Performance, what is your name, sir? So, uh, gag, look, look. All right. Matchpiece, oh, gee, uh, gee, we're taken so that I can become a grounder instead. All right. Anyways, you may leave the court. Realize your turn room and the look to the other guards, you quickly snap their attention and tell you that there are 22 more people here. Alright, let's get down to 20 and see what else we can do. <clears throat> throw them and look to the guards. Alright, next one in. Grab room for a man who accused of worshipping the dead. How do you plead? Uh, no comment. And a Russian guard. Guard informs you that his guilt is more certain than anything. Yep. To the dungeon. Alright. And sorry, my should wrap this up fairly soon here. Let's see, mercenary companies. Hire them for a single attack. Let's see who we're going to attack. Alright, well, we're going after Kirk, so... And let's see, so... They're ready to attack. So... Invade. No, we're not going to use any of that. Arrive at Eric's territory and prepare for the battle that will soon take place. You spy the strange cave. You're going. Alright, so. Atef, the nightmare was indeed killed. We just need to finish off the throne room and then we can turn over the thing. There's my boy who asked for a single gold coin. Let me have a gold coin. Alright, well, I guess Darwin words was, I guess Darwinism was, uh, in place there. You visit by a young boy who has found a coin and pile which to give it to you. You shall accept it. Alright, next up. You are visited by Jester. Jester's son, who says, Hello, Lord, I have come to read you a joke on behalf of my father who is too sick to come. I will listen to it. What do you know if his stage is flat? The drool comes up both sides of the bird's mouth. Alright. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it was an okay joke. Alright. And let's see. 
Right, I back out twice. Still 18 people. It was about an old man who asked you if you could spare a few coins for his family. Uh, come to me before you had to eat your dog. There's a mad miner who claimed for your soldiers burned down. His farm money can run about stealing. So his livelihood is gone for nothing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Open that and with reparations to be paid, the gold is accepted and your mad miner friend says thank you before returning. Maybe. All right. And all right, let's see. You scrape up for you if you're long for a scroll. We all right. Next person in. Guards bring forward a man who's accused of stealing horseshoes. Explain yourself. I uh, er, who am I kidding? Yes, I did it. And let's see. He's so to the dungeon with him. All right, come on. Let's get this. Let's get through this. Raised by a hedge knight. He says he's returned from his quest for you. Uh, he has saved village from a goblin invasion. Yep, we are accepting you. Alright, and... Visit by a young boy who has found a coin and wishes to give it to you. We shall accept the coin. Visit by a foreign gambler who is followed by free young men. He claims he just, uh, he has, uh, served, uh, it, let's see, it, it's, it is time for his sons to serve in the army, and for 30 gold for each of them to cover the cost of the extra work you'll have to do with them around to help. Alright. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, so, um, yeah, we'll pay for them to join. It's by a mad wood hunter who claims to have this herbacea full of magical fruit. Not fair, serves out, leaving the probably painted apples. There's a young boy who found a coin and wishes to give it to you. You should accept that. Alright. Visited by a strange craftsman who inherits a large sum of money and wishes to share. Show you with a little portion of it. Alright. You should accept the money. Alright. Why am I here again? And send in the next. You're visited by a man who claims to be a knight. So the quest, you are allowed to quest. You're attracted to everything. You are visited by a traveling bard. Yes, show you a little song in Scabble Drums. So, what is your name, sir? Drummer reveals his name to be Smog. Alright, and. Your origins. Remember the musician skill, they come around pretty often. I was traveling from Monterey. Asked to play a song on the Little Goblin Storms. I'm not the worst musician, I should play the Wiki song. Alright, so. Okay, drummer nods and prepares to play. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'm taking it.
It is definitely a lengthy song. Alright, it's a great performance. And you beat it. Next up, visited by a young boy who kind of throws us and says, Go, 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 go. Um, yeah, well. No, you can take a bath like everyone else. It's okay, goodbye, Mr. Leader. Let's see, main through room, six more people. Visit by an evil sand from evil sand free city who seek refuge. Uh, with you and and I'm brief in the matter. All right. Yes. You will accept him. All right. And we're down to five visitors. Which by crazy tells me it says the feeling could bur burst given the right timing. All right. All right. This is by a crazy townsman who says the feeling could uh, burst given the right timing. Okay, thank you. Go away now. Almost to the end here. This is by an old woman who claims to be the monster of one of. Mother of one of your dead soldiers. She's coming hard times. So we we'll pay her. Uh, let's see. The gold is accepted, and the old woman smiles uh, with a grin so wide it stretches from ear to ear and is intimidating. Alright. So, next person in. Visit by a young boy is for a gold coin. So, young boy. Take it in. If what is, let's see, so, no votes, but, it's about an old man who says he wishes to see the king before he dies, I shall greet him with kindness. I'm as humble and rich as you like in uh, the time to come. Alright, and... Let's see, any other things of note? Last person, you visit by a famous butcher who claims to have his business in magical fruit. He claims it can be fed to all your soldiers to make them stronger. Let's see. Alright. Alright, let's see. So, will you really be saying magic food for only 10 gold? Yeah, that's it. And I did get it. Alright, awesome. So, no one's waiting for me. I've softened up the target. So, what we are going to do now is end the current year. And we are going to attack the War Goblin uh, Kingdom of Varask. So. Alright. And 3 to invade. And. So you are. Let's see. Alright, I will choose myself. I don't want to worry about the peasants. Get two of those. All of those. And eight, five, six. See how many we We won't send any of them now. Uh, 
Them in reserve. Okay. All right. About time to invade. Only time to eliminate a faction. Your men arrive in Eric's territory and prepare for battle that will soon take place. You spot a small raiding camp of the various teepees. Those of the enemy arrives and battle begins. Right, well, I lost four, they lost 130, so. Alright, and after ye this next year, 836 gold for my 22 lands, caravan, uh, the wagonman, earned me 84 gold, trading post 10, eastern village of small haven, 118, you know, site and free city, 418. Oaken Chieftain, 262. Let's see. Uh, two goblins join us. So a peasant joins us. You're set 1400 uh, in arena profits. 399 uh, total in uh, tributes from the Greenskin Mining Company. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Nice to roll the Sphinx sends four soldiers from the fort, eight soldiers from the other fort, earning 643 gold. Let's see, making almost 24 for my gameplay tax, 31 for my uh, general tax, 1340 from in tribute, 669 from the plate market. Let's see. Let's see. They enlisted some bad things. Let's see. The evil sign. So yeah, everyone. Not, not, no other big military campaigns. And all right. Alright, and with that, we are going to save the game, because I am fading very fast. Alright, and I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys on Tuesday for Stellaris, and next week for more Warsim. So, have a great day, and see you then. Bye.